Hi guys! In this video, we will be unboxing this beautiful looking sous vide machine from Kitchen Boss and I'm so happy and fortunate to be contacted by someone to try out this machine. So basically, for everyone's knowledge, sous vide is a French word for under vacuum. It is also known as low temperature long time cooking. It is a method of cooking in which food is placed in a plastic pouch or a glass jar and cooked in a water bath for longer than usual cooking times. So I will show you later how it is done, but let's unbox this first. So included in the box is the storage bag, instruction manual, vacuum sealer bags, this recipe book, and there's lots of delicious recipes in here. Then here is the mounting bracket, and this is the actual unit which is also called the Immersion Circulator. The unit looks really well built, and this is said to be a food-grade stainless steel. And you can open this part by twisting, and here you can see the spiral structure which is the heating element. And now let's set up this machine. By the way, another thing we need to be able to use this machine is a big container that can be filled with water to immerse the machine and any food that you're planning to cook. Then we will attach the mounting bracket and make sure it is securely placed. Then place the machine into the bracket and here's another screw to securely place the machine too. And then let's turn on the unit. So compared to other brands I know, it has a colored LCD screen and has already 20 built-in recipes in it, but you can also personalize the settings. And even with the built-in recipes, you can also manually adjust the settings. Then you can start the machine with this button. By the way guys, additional feature, this knob is magnetic and the whole unit is waterproof. Furthermore, we will also unbox another product from Kitchen Boss which can help us complete our setup for sous vide cooking, the vacuum sealer machine. Here is the instruction manual, storage bag, vacuum sealer bags which comes in two different sizes, an accessory hose, and the unit. So we will use this to vacuum seal our meat and other food products. It also comes with an extra vacuum gasket to replace this if it's worn out. And now let's try to use the Kitchen Boss sous vide machine and let's make a steak and follow the recipe from this recipe book. First, tap it dry with a kitchen towel and season with salt and pepper. Rub it, and do on the other side. As simple as this, guys. Then place it in the vacuum sealer bag. And then add garlic. Optionally, you can also add aromatics to the steak like this fresh rosemary. After placing everything in the bag, let's seal it using our Kitchen Boss vacuum sealer. Position the end of the bag in the sealer and make sure to close it properly and you can hear the click sound. Then press the moist vacuum feature which is always used if you're using meat products. And that's it! Then after this, we can now start cooking in our sous vide machine. So as I have said earlier, we will be using the New York steak recipe and follow the recommended time and temp to achieve a medium rare steak. But before we start, I wanted to take a baseline temperature of our water and that is around uh, 27 to 28 degrees Celsius. Our sous vide or immersion circulator is already turned on and we just need to press this to start. This will be how it looks when you turn on the circulator and the motor is really quiet as I have observed. After a couple of minutes, when I tested the temperature again, it has already reached the expected temp that is 54 degrees Celsius. Then I can now immerse the steak in the warm water bath. Then I have also decided to include some sliced potatoes together in the water bath. And be sure everything is immersed guys. 
Then after one hour, let's remove the steak and the potatoes. But honestly guys, for the potatoes, one hour and the 54 degrees temperature is not really enough. So I extended the time and increased the temperature until it is cooked. Then let's remove the steak from the bag and we will save the garlic and rosemary for later. But before we pan sear the steak, we need to top dry the meat first so that we can achieve the perfect sear and caramelization on the surface of the steak. Then on a preheated cast iron pan over medium to high heat, add around 1 tablespoon of olive oil. And once the olive oil is very hot, place the steak in the skillet. My steak is a bit thin so I only save this side quickly for around 3 minutes. Then I flip it and cook the other side for another 2 minutes. And then I added butter into the pan and spoon the sauce over the steak. And finally done! So let's transfer the steak to the cutting board. Look at that guys! Though I follow the medium rare setting at 54 degrees Celsius for 1 hour, the steak I cook is on the medium to medium well because the slice of steak I had is a bit thin and not evenly sliced. But nevertheless, I love how it turned out and it is still so good. As for the sides, I seared the potatoes in the skillet, seasoned with salt and pepper, and added fresh rosemary, then cooked until brown. And I also did the same with the asparagus. Look how pretty this is guys. And it is really delicious. Thanks for watching!